This video demonstrates requirements analysis using capabilities provided by Cameo Requirements Modeler. We will start by demonstrating how to check the requirements coverage with elements from later phases of the software or system development with the help of MagicDraw Validation Engine. Validation is a facility for evaluating completeness and correctness of models using built-in and custom validation suites. In this particular case, it helps to easily find non-covered requirements and report the issues to your colleagues or fix them for yourself ASAP. Now we will check user needs coverage with functional requirements, that is the use cases. For this, we need to open a sample project first. Let's do this. Let's start the validation. We need to select the coverage validation suite. After the validation finishes, the validation results are shown in many different views, such as Validation Results Panel, Model Browser, Requirements Diagram, and and the Relation Map as well. You can see highlighted those user needs that have no links to use cases. You can ignore the violations that do not require changes, but the violations that identify an incomplete model must be fixed. We will ignore the warning that occurs on the general requirements. It may be left unsatisfied because it is a parent requirement. However, we cannot say the same about the inner requirements of the general requirements. They must be satisfied if you wish to build a consistent model. As you can see, after ignoring the warning, the element is no longer highlighted as a violation. The validation is performed using predefined object constraint language constraints, which allows adopting existing custom logic and creating custom logic to cover any model correctness and completeness constraints. Now we will demonstrate the body of such constraints, the validation rule. Here you can see the body of the validation rule in OCL syntax. Let's close both dialogs and proceed to calculating requirements coverage metrics. Metrics allow performing a comprehensive analysis of the current state of the project, tracking the evolution of model over the time, as well as discovering trends and providing information in a user-friendly environment. Now we will show how to calculate requirements coverage metrics. For this, we will use a new generation of the model-based customizable metrics engine. Let's open the metric table, which is used for tracking requirements coverage with design elements and test cases. Let's check the progress of the requirements coverage in comparison to the metrics calculated on the 13th of June. For this, we need to create a new metric. Now we will update the model and then calculate one more metric to see how these updates influence the model development progress. Let's create a satisfy relationship between the notification requirement and the notification interface. The relationship is created. Let's check the progress in the metric table. As you can see, the number of requirements covered by design phase elements increased.
Furthermore, the number increased by 3 at one time after creating a single relationship. How do we explain that? For this, let's go back to the dependency matrix we just edited. The notification requirement has two inner requirements, and the logic of the custom metric concludes that if the notification requirement is satisfied, all its inner requirements are satisfied as well. Keep in mind that you can describe the logic of calculating metrics by using any of the wide variety of scripting language supported by MagicDraw, for example, JavaScript, JSON, or Groovy. Thank you for watching this video.